What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and today we got a new video series. So I wanted to start a best of five series where either I face off versus other top players or have other top players face off versus each other. So today we got some of the best players from Unity, the number one band, facing off some of the best players from Paradox, the number two band. So it's playing right now, I haven't seen it. I don't know what's gonna happen. So as far as the rules, Today, it's only smash and grab, and I picked five different maps in case it goes all five games. And then, if after any team loses, they get the ability to ban one brawler for the rest of the match. And these bans stack. So, I will explain this some as we go, and there should be some player profiles going up as well. Let's turn the sound down a little bit. Alright, so I haven't seen this at all. Alright, so we got Big playing Pam coming in the middle on Bonebox. So, Bonebox is the first map. All right, so it looks like they are running Pam, Colt, Ricochet. This is Team Unity that we're watching right now. And Team Paradox has a Jesse, a Ricochet. Jesse seems like a bold choice, but if you do have control of the middle and you can place her turret in the middle, if you don't have a good shot at it, it can definitely be very hard to take down. Unity definitely has control right now. Looks like their Colt and Ricochet are winning a lot of these battles. Definitely control 7-0 right now. This Colt is trying to sneak up on them. So it's they basically have the same Team Cops composition, except instead of a Pam, Paradox has a Jesse. I definitely think Pam favors over Jesse right now, especially if you have control. Pam just able... Once you have control with Pam, with that turret up, so much healing. Because look at that. That Pam never really got low health. Man, this looks like a dominating victory for Unity so far. But this is just the first game. After this, Team Paradox will be able to ban a Brawler that neither team will be able to use. Yep, and that is the first game. So Unity won the first game. So now, let's see what Paradox bans. And maybe you saw earlier on, there was some friendly banter going on, which was pretty fun to see always. Banter is always good, I think. Alright, so let's see what they ban. Now, that was a very damage-heavy game, and now they're switching to the second map, which I don't remember what it is. Mushroom Cave. All right, so let's see. What is the band going to be? I'm sure they're thinking about it. But both teams had Colts and Ricochet. They're definitely one of the strongest brawlers right now. Both of them very high damage output, especially on Bone Box, where there's very much lanes. Um, you're very much either in the middle or you're on the sides. There's not really much of an in-between so Colt and Ricochet control those two sides very well. And that's what you saw happen is those guys really took control. And then once they had that, it was very hard for them to advance up because you had to go into a Colt and Ricochet just firing down those lanes. Or you had to face the Pam in the middle. And then if you did crash in the middle, the Colt and Ricochet could just peek over and shoot from the side into the middle. So it's definitely very hard to get control again. Looks like they banned Mortis. That's an interesting ban. Hmm, Mortis is definitely a lot stronger now than he was before. That soul really gives him, his ability to reap souls really allows him to face, face off versus a lot of different brawlers. So now he's able to really stay alive a lot longer, especially as the game goes on, right? As more people die, there's more and more souls. So maybe he's a little weak early in the game. He sort of has to build up his super as well. And there's not any souls from the game back. But Mortis is definitely... So now one thing I guess this allows is it allows Team Paradox and Team Unity as well is to run Dynamite more. So Dynamite is definitely a better option with Mortis off the table. Now as Mortis is Dynamite's best counter. So let's see if we see a Dynamite and on Mushroom Cave, a very thrower heavy map. So as you can see, Team Unity running two similar thrower style characters, a Barley and uh, a Spike. Yep, so look, so Team Paradox does have that Dynamite. Ooh, Big Dupin very, barely surviving with 108 health. So right now, Team Paradox has control. They took established control of the middle. They have almost the exact same team comps. Both games, both games, only one difference between the Brawlers. So both of these guys clearly favoring the same comps on certain maps. So Big Dupin right now just fell out from that Dynamite. Let's see if Team Unity is able to establish control. Looks like they're able to get one kill. Established a little bit of control. They might be able to push back. A super from the Barley as well. Not much place for the Dynamite to run. 
and Pam is just so hard to take down once she's in that heal. There's no way another Pam is going to take down another Pam if they're both healing up. It's almost a useless fight. It's kind of silly, honestly. They both just heal so much. Right now we're seeing Spike on Spike and Barley on Dynamite. Now Dynamite does more damage, but it is easier for Barley to hit some of those shots. And there we go. Dynamite did win that battle. But it looks like this Spike is able to take down this Pam, maybe, and take those gems. That could be the game if they can take the gems. Here we go. Six gems. But can that Spike stop them, Bedardo? Ooh, not quite. Close. Man, so tw 10 seconds left. Can Paradox come back? They don't really have any quick action, guys. Maybe if Dynamite can jump in with his super, perhaps? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so Team Unity has a 2-0 lead over Team Paradox. Big Dupin getting the star player. Man, all these guys are very good players. They've all played somewhere around over 25,000 matches combined just for each team. So between all these guys, they've played over 50,000 matches of Brawl Stars. That is a lot of matches. I think personally, I've probably played somewhere over 5,000. Still a lot as well, but nothing like these guys. These guys are on another level. Now, the next map is Temple Catacombs. So, I'm, I'm going to guess we're going to see another thrower here as well. Um, probably going to still see Pam unless Pam gets banned. And then it'll be interesting to see what the third brawler is. My guess is it might be a ricochet. Uh, you might see a spike for sure. Okay, so they banned Pam. Pam is definitely very strong right now. So, now instead of a Pam, we're probably going to see a Poco or a Bow. My guess is Poco. But Bow is definitely a strong option now with the pushback. It can certainly be hard to escape from those mines now that the pushback is added on. There's certainly much more of an annoyance. So let's see. Looks like they went with Bow. Team Unity went with Bow instead of Poco. They went as Bow, Ricochet, and Barley. Barley instead of Spike. Ricochet definitely a great control option. Easier to spawn trap them. Looks like both teams running Ricochet. And then Team Paradox running Poco instead of Bow. Looks like Big Dupin is losing a little bit of this early battle with Bob Marley on the other side. But I'm not sure it's going to matter as it looks like Nick... Oh, no, it does matter. Okay, so Big Dupin was able to die. Not was able to die. He, Bob Marley took out Big Dupin. Looks like OG just defeated Bedardo. I'm not sure what Team Paradox's third brawler is yet. Looks like it's... I'm assuming it's some sort of thrower. Perhaps, okay, a spike. That was my guess. As Besides a Barley. Oh, now it looks like... So the problem with uh, Temple Catagones is it's fairly easy to spawn trap people once you establish control. So if you're able to establish control, you have a good chance of winning. But it looks like neither team is really able to establish control very well. It seems pretty much they're able to get one kill and then they sort of have to back off. They're able to push them a little bit back into spawn, but then it seems one of the spawn trappers tends to die. Oh, so that was a ton of damage from Big Dupin. He landed his super perfectly. And here comes Bedardo with his spike, but it's not enough. He missed. Can Bob Marley finish anyone off for the kill? Big Dupin did die. He had one gem, but not an important gem. It looks like the Barley on Team Unity has the rest of the gems. And this could be the match. Three seconds left. That is it. Team Unity sweeps Team Paradox 3-0. A convincing victory. Both very good teams. Very well played by both teams. Now this was my first high level gameplay. Best of five. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what sort of rules you prefer as well. Alright, that is it for this one. I have another best of five exciting coming up soon where I face off for some other top players. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.